are seeing an increased incidence of breast cancer in younger women. And we see about a 2% increase from 2015 to 2019. And we see that African-American women have a very high mortality rate from breast cancer. It's about twice that of white women. And we see that African-American women tend to develop breast cancers when they're younger and they develop more aggressive breast cancers. So it is important for women who are in their 40s to undergo a mammogram. The guidelines right now state that the mammogram should be done every other year. The American Cancer Society guidelines recommend yearly mammograms starting at age 45 and not going to every other year until your age 55. So you can see there are different recommendations from different organizations, but I think it's important for women who are younger in their 40s to realize that they can undergo mammograms and it is important for them to do that. We do find some aggressive cancers in younger women, but a lot of younger women that I see in my clinic we're finding early stage cancers that have very good survival rates, are treatable, are curable, and I'm so happy we found them when they were 40, as opposed to when they were larger, when they were 50. The average risk woman should indeed start screening at 40. I really support those guidelines and I'm very happy about the change, but it's important for women to understand that an individual woman's risk of breast cancer may differ greatly depending on her family history, depending on you know things that have happened to her in the past, and so I think a woman, once she is in her 20s, really should be thinking about what's my risk for breast cancer? Do I have a strong family history? Have I, did I have radiation when I was young? You know, things like that can really impact a woman's risk and can determine whether or not she actually needs to start screening earlier. So I think breast awareness is important from an early age and young women, it's rare, but they do get breast cancer. And so if you think like that can't happen to me or I don't need to worry about that till I'm in my 40s then you, know, you may end up delaying a diagnosis or not getting high-risk screening when you should. 